Sarah and Molly at Emerald City Comedy Con with Brandy. Okay, so we went to Emerald City Comic Con, which was awesome. Here's your lovely assistant, Sushi. She she might walk on some art. Go to bed. Go shh, to bed. shh, shh. Just let me sleep. It was my first time at an Emerald City Comic Con. I should slouch, so I'm the same height as you. Oh, did you hear those pops? <laughs> those are some good ones. Those pops. Them those pops. pops. Those pops. Those pops. We spent a lot of money. Yeah. So she's looking my sketchbook. I actually don't really know, nor do I want to know how much money I spent. But it was mostly on art, so I feel like it was a good cause. This is a video of things we spent money on. That's mine. <laughs> this is harem party. <laughs> this is a harem party. <laughs> this is also harem party. Uh, this is a hentai game. And, uh, yeah, you play a dude and you have sex with elf girls. <laughs> big step up from harem party 64. Yeah, there's much better graphics. <laughs> there's very graphic on the back here. Uh, there's a penis between some boobs, and uh, there's a really rosy butt. Yeah, we were just discussing the like, okay. the, the lighting that has to be happening in these images for the, the shines to take place. And the rosy tits, because they just got yeah, slapped, just obviously. Just freshly slapped. Sarah, read the description. You for want to read it? Yeah, do it, do it. Do it in Krieger, girlfriend. Okay. My ancestors, I can feel them <laughs> like leaving rolling in their urns right now in the motherland. <laughs> They're listening to Stevie Wonder yeah. in, in our family shrine. <clears throat> Perform! Okay, the first three words are grab your sword. <laughs> sword. Grab your sword and experience a school-based comedy about a group of girls to young men's RPG. Follow his exploits to a hell of game girls as they work to explain the demon known as Kondo in the real world! Yikes. Grab your sword and experience this school-based comedy about a group of girls who come out of a young man's RPG. Follow his exploits with a harem of the game's girls as they work to defeat the demon lord who has come into the real world with cocks. So I play a little bit of it and the girls need come to survive in the real world. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's the life essence. So, um, you lose your virginity to two, to two girls sandwiched on top of each other. This is really setting the mood for the rest of the video. Yeah. We're, we promise we're classy ladies who actually spent money on, like, real art. My mom <laughs> reads my blog, so. Anyway, um, yeah, so you just have a lot of sex with fantasy girls, and, um. They have elf ears. Well, one of them does. She's also the dumbest one. There's also, two cat, the there's also two cat girls who are twins, so. There's that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start with the first things I bought. Sai -ay -ay. Oh. So, Psyduck's my favorite Pokemon, and I realized after going to the Anime World booth, I think that's I don't know, was. lol. Um, it was basically just a cage full of body pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized right, I would never I, replace you. She was there too, but yeah. cleaner. Um, I just hug her a lot. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that being the truth. I didn't have a Psyduck plush. I had figurines, but now I have one that I can cuddle. That's nice. He's, he's kind of he's kind of lopsided though. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> okay. Sushi wants that so bad. Yeah. Nope. That's good. Good work. Good dog. Also from Anime World. If it's not Anime World, I really apologize. Um, that's a dick move. Um, I bought some well, Sailor the, Moon jewelry. The whole world is anime world. <laughs> right? Anime world, also known as online. Also known as everywhere. Thanks. Um, some Sailor Moon jewelry. So, necklace and brooch. This doesn't open, but I forgive it. She is the one named Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon! These are great. I've already worn the, this once. and This, I think, will be going like on a jacket. Soon. Sushi! Aww. That's pretty! <laughs> <laughs> I got this look off. It's a One Piece Face Princess pin, so that's cool. Um, that's not substantial to show, so uh, this is a local guy. I really forget his name. Fishes? What? Fish? Not fish? 
J Fish. Maybe J Fish? I don't know. He's from Washington. Um, he did really cool art. He knows my friend Ray! So, Ray! Your friend. This is his friend's art. Uh, first is this really sweet Princess Mononoke print, which is awesome. And then, because it was like two for twenty, uh, Katamari Damashi! Katamari, do your best! Anyway, Katamari art. So, that's cool. Speaking of Katamari, I know that I do the Nana song. Like, na 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 well, Sushi's just, just gonna lay on the art now, she so... She put her butt on Sailor Mercury. No one does that. Do you know that Sailor just Mercury sleep. likes eating sandwiches because they're easy and clean to eat while she studies? Okay. This is, um, I'm not gonna play favorites, but probably my favorite art that I got at the con. Uh, Daenerys from Game of Thrones by Chrissy Zulo. And it's awesome because naked girl and dragons? Yeah. yeah. Naked Girl and Dragons. Like, where can you really go wrong with that? Also, it's beautiful. Also, Game of Thrones is the best in, oh my god, like two weeks. But Sarah hasn't seen it, so... Don't spoil it. I, Except this is a, I keep this saying, is a spoiler. People, Spo yeah. Spoilers! Yikes. Spoilers! People keep saying, like, oh, you've never seen Game of Thrones? I was like, yeah, isn't there, like, a girl and dragon? People are like, <gasps> and I don't understand the significance. But I'm also not, like, a spoilers. I can still enjoy a series if I know. Unless it's Battlestar happens. Galactica. Cool. Cool Game of Thrones art. You guys should check out Chrissy Zulo. She's done covers for Fables and stuff. She's mega, mega talented. Can we do that? Can we do that YouTube thing? We'll put links to the artist. Yeah, in the we're gonna put them in the comments the below. Description. Like us and tell us what you'd like to see. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Subscribe. Click. You guys. There. Don't tell YouTube that I hate YouTube. <laughs> so here's something. These are from. Um, I bought. Yeah. Uh, these are from my boyfriend. He bought them for me. Um, Ew, gross! No. You don't want to know what I had to do for these. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, <laughs> Mom. I'm just kidding. They're little Pikachus on silver hooks with little gems. I also have a pair that are um, little silver bunnies. That's adorable. And they're really, really cute. And Do you know what's adorable? Bunnies. Bunnies. Know what I can't hug? Bunnies. Why? Because I'm allergic to them! God, your life is terrible. <laughs> I know. The only thing that Molly and I got that is exactly the same as one another. Which got, I can't find we it. We got matchers. Um, Show them! Yup. Okay, that, the booth where you, where you, one acquires pantaloons such as these also had the grossest softcore renderings of the Sailor Scouts that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like, Mars's butt. She's straddling the planet Mars, of course. Yep. Her They're butt all straddling is their shining and spread all about. Oh no, I need these. <laughs> I need these to find a husband who will get me pregnant. So on that note, <laughs> oh god, um, I got these two really awesome prints from um, Monica Gallagher. Or are you just gonna play with my dog and like I'm, not listen to me? I'm listening. We're listening. Fuck you. Uh, so she do this like really sexy poison ivy. Which, Great. Poison Ivy is awesome. Um, and Hipster Spider-Man! <laughs> which is exciting. And then Sarah got a piece of work from I her, too. Piece. This is the women of Mad Men. So you got Betty, Peggy, and Joan. And underneath them it says, House Cage Motherhood, Drive Ambition, Naivete, Sex Marriage Disappointment. I it's think just... we know who I identify with the most. <laughs> Good work, She's Monica. A Kicking ass over here. Dean, Dean, Dean! Dean, 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 Dean. Dean. <laughs> Sorry, Dean. Uh, so, <laughs> Dean Tripp is a good friend of mine. He be trippin'. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name pun. So, Dean Tripp is a really stupid, talented comic artist and um, acquired many arts from him in the past and present. And uh, I got this awesome one of Spider Man and Mary Jane from him, which Sushi stepped on. So, there's like a Little paw brief. print someone like there. He did a really, really beautiful drawing of Sarah as Shadowcat. Speaking of Dean, 
Um, I have another original sketch of Supergirl, and it's amazing. She's she's fostering a little bluebird. She's got great abs in this too. Yeah, she right? does. Most things are she is doing all the crunches, but it's gorgeous and I love it. And it's one of a kind, so suck it, everyone else. You can't have this. So this is really awesome. Like, really awesome. It's by Brian Miller, and um, first, before I show you this art, I just have to say that he has, like, a really awesome approach to design and art and the way that he produces things. He, instead of printing things on, like, cheap paper, he prints them on really high-quality, um, thick... What's that called? You're a graphic designer. When it's, like, thick paper. It's heavier weight stock. Yeah, heavier weight stock paper. <laughs> um, he also does limited releases of all of his art, so once they're sold out forever he doesn't print anymore, which I think is really awesome. Um, so I got this absolutely amazing um, Wonder Woman poster from him, and it's 209 of 250. And he had like an entire series of propaganda posters like this that were just like so beautiful for like Doctor Who and a bunch of other stuff, but this one really spoke to me because I do a lot of Wonder Woman cosplay. And actually, Sarah and I ran across it earlier in the day, and I just kept thinking about it, yeah. and then had to go back and get it um, because it's absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. So this is mine now. You can look at it. I'm gonna come, come visit it. Yeah, stroke it gently. Her and, her and I. Speaking of empowered lady images, which all of these are actually. Um, were empowered we're lady empowered images. Empowered ladies. I pay my own rent. If you like it, then you put it back on it. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, you put it on this hand. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know. Me neither. Except we're getting married. Someone proposed. Molly already has. It's cool. Will you take this cake ring? <gasps> yes. How did you know? It's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck on your fat <laughs> knuckles, Molly. I do. Love cake. <laughs> but it's a this lie. Is, this is a monumental <laughs> moment. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. It says for you, even. That's cute. This is really pretty. Well, it's, thanks. It's a uh, ring with this a cake means on nothing, it. but this jewelry is fine now. So <laughs> no! I'll, you're see such you, a bitch. I'll see you later. Um, this is awesome. This is from Lorraine McLeese. Is a print. She said um, she had an original watercolor that is now on a child's wall, but she never got an image of it, so all she had were her memories and sketches. That's sad. So then she recreated it in this poster, which is great. And, uh,. It's so like aspirational, and I actually have a one of my closest friends. His Tumblr is all women wearing astronaut. Um, anyway, this is really beautiful, and she also um, gave me this really cool button of a rooster that's done up like a um, like a playing card king. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's it's really cool. Chickens are awesome, you guys. Take more photos of these and put them up. But anyway, this is great, and she even signed it with like a little doodle of herself, which is really cute. Oh. That's adorable! Silver. <laughs> <laughs> this has just turned into torturing my dog video. You into that, internet? Huh? Here, sushi. Have this rag. <laughs> Look, a rag! Solution price. It's a Marvel Heroes rag! You yeah, like yeah, that! It's a Marvel rag. So, I met Philip Moy at Comic Con, and he was selling um, prints from like original printing prints. <laughs> <from> <laughs> Good job. I'm a professional artist, can you tell? Um, from Samurai Jack and Powerpuff Girls and Spooderman. Anyway, I got this one from Powerpuff Girls and it's really awesome. My favorite part is the bottom where it's um, the professor on their little like power-up background. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Um, I bought this though uh, for my sister, who is a huge Powerpuff Girls fan, and she doesn't know she's getting it for her birthday, so surprise! So on Friday night, I did something really insane. I hosted and uh, organized the Emerald City Comic Con live art event for the third year in a row. Basically, the condensed version of it is that I get together a bunch of artists and make them paint like the little monkeys that they are on stage. We also have like naked girls with tape over their boobs to get painted on and cosplay go-go dancers. And this year was crazy! You guys came out in droves. Really it was insane and really cool and really great and all of the proceeds went to the Seattle Children's Hospital because we auctioned art off the next day. We also had like a donation box at the door. Charity! I was just building up my karma for all the bad stuff that I do. And uh, my good friend Ashley Riot was one of the artists at the event and she made some really incredible art. 
and I was really attached to this one piece that she did and when the auction came I was bidding on it but I am a broke writer so I don't really have the money for it and our friend bid $500 on it and when he won it of course for $500 I was like hey I was gonna get that and so my birthday was last week and so he gave me the print for my birthday so $500 to the Seattle Children's Hospital plus this fucking awesome Wonder Woman by Ashley um, which is like which is actually on canvas and was actually made with acrylic paint in front of a live audience and it's one of a kind and incredible and beautiful it's so good yeah I'm it's super so obsessed with it and then on top of that towards the end of the night I made Sarah <laughs> I made Sarah paint me something because I was playing the birthday card <laughs> my birthday! It's, it's my, my birthday. birthday! You have to pay me something! Yeah. So Sarah made a unicorn horn for me. Boom. She's actually a really good artist, you guys. I'm a graphic designer though, so it's hard for me to make art drunk, but, but, it's, uh, but on, not on a computer. But it's awesome, because I love unicorns. Because unicorns are awesome. Uh, she's blown her whole load. So now we're going to show off um, my sketchbook, which is my most prized possession other than Sarah of course yeah. um, I've been I've been collecting art in the sketchbook to, since 2010 I actually write in the front of the sketchbook where I've taken it to um, it's been with me to Avila Spain uh, New York City Paris and Ilzac in France I said that wrong I think you have to say like Ilzac <laughs> just get a get a loogie in the back of your throat yeah. Chicago Brisbane and Melbourne and Australia. Um, it's really amazing and I have some incredible art in it that I might do a video for at some point. But this is a video about Emerald City Comic Con. So this is a sketch by Cena Grace. I think it's supposed to be a Lois Lane or it's just a sexy lady. This is my sexy lady sketchbook after all. Um, so that's beautiful. What went next? We already showed you Dean's but we'll show it again. Deanly Doodle! Hunger Deans! That's good. <laughs> what up, girl? This is by Ryan Benjamin. Um, he did Batman and some other stuff. And he drew me his hot gangster girl from his original comics. My dog is eating a washcloth. Um, this is by Sean Koss, who works for Cyanide and Happiness, and he drew me a creepy monster girl, which is awesome and creepy. Um, this is by my friend Smidge. Naked girl. I like that one. No. This is uh, by Peter. I'm sorry, Peter. I can never pronounce your last name. Steiger Waltz. Don't know. Don't hate me. Um, he drew Sarah for me. me. We were at a bar and we're not drunk, unfortunately. And he was there doing sketches of naked girls with mustaches on their vaginas. Oh my gosh, those were great. And uh, he drew a picture of Sarah, because she's my waifu. Yeah, he made my hair really long, though. My hair is really good. long. And this is by Ray, who's local in Seattle and did Seedless and Shark Knife and all sorts of other really hyperactive, crazy, awesome things. And you should read his stuff. And I think that... Oh, no. And then my friend Sonia Schmitzer did this one. It's a Malthea from The Last Unicorn, which is one of my favorite things in the entire world. And it's so pretty! And it has an actual quote from the book in it. It says, Great heroes need great sorrows and burdens, or half their greatness goes unnoticed. It is all a part of the fairy tale by Peter S. Beagle. She's also known as Ladyfish. Um, so yeah, that is our... That's our Emerald City Comic Con haul. I think we did pretty well. Yeah. And we have SakuraCon coming up in <laughs> like three weeks where we can get super weeaboo and buy a lot of things we probably don't need. So stay tuned for that ridiculousness. And uh, I guess until next time, when our wallets get thinner again, make sure to subscribe. Hey, subscribe to this. Because we're awesome. Click it. Go to the Geeky Peacock. Click it. Don't quit it. See, she's going to dance for you. Uh, 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 uh,
Sushi. Bye-bye. See you later.